Hello, this is Emil Nicolescu, your instructor, and I'm going to address how you should deal with this um, chapter 2. So, um, this chapter 2 is called Workplace Correspondence Memos, Email, Text Messages, and Business Letters. Okay, um, we're not going to pay attention much to the memo, basically, because the memo is has been replaced by the email. So. You could read this section here, uh, pages 24, uh, but you don't have to. You know, just you're out of curiosity. If you're curious about what memos were like, you can do that. But basically, it was just like a, a paper email. So here's a copy of the memo. You can see it has a to from subject uh, date. Pretty much is how the emails look nowadays. Okay, so let's talk about an email. Um, so obviously you know what an email is. I mean, I don't have to explain. Um, but I do want to emphasize something you should pay attention to. Uh, the most important thing about to remember about email is that people overuse them um, because it's so easy to send an email. So what does that mean that people overuse them? Basically, it means that People treat them like texts because it's so easy to send. However, you have to realize that um, a lot of people don't like to get a lot of emails because they, they have to respond. So it's better to just think about your email, write a one good email instead of, you know, five. Um, okay. Another point important here uh, that is made on page 27 is... Um, proofread the email again just because it's easy because it's so easy to press that send button it does not mean that you should send it right away uh, and you talk about this please look at your grammar um, that's one important thing another very important thing you got to think about what is your tone again you don't want to sound angry don't write an email when you're angry write it, pause, talk with someone about it and ask them their opinion if it's a good idea because here's the deal emails are not private okay you can be fired for a bad email okay uh, it can be used against you so please proceed with caution okay but um, basically that's what page 27 is talking about um, but please do re read it as, as well. And um, here they give you on page 28, they give you just a structure of the email. Um, break it up. Um, here at page 29, it kind of gives you like a, a summary of, of things that you should watch out for the email. Um, read that. I'm not going to go over it because you should read it. Um, this is gives you a checklist to write a good email oh and another thing about email very important is do not hit reply all if not everybody needs to get that email again you're loading up you are making people's email box full of stuff they don't need if that email is just for your boss then modify the recipients modify learn how to modify um, where the, the email is going to it's very important um, okay text messages what should you know about text messages obviously a lot of people use text messages okay but if your business gives you a, a phone to text don't overuse it don't and the last paragraph here where I make it gray uh, it's very important to realize that again who who's gonna who knows who's gonna t if you make a, a a bad joke you know your boss might might see the email right because they they own a phone if your boss gives you a phone that's their phone right so you have to be respectful still right just because you're texting uh, it doesn't mean that you know you're testing your buddies okay 
what you do on your private time that's your business but you you just if you're sending a rude email I mean a text or um, you know or politically I don't know aggressive email or something by religion right they could get back at you uh, avoid that okay business is business so be careful what also with texts what what you're what are you sending okay uh, then the business letter right um, this is also an important chapter I think the most important thing is the structure of the business letter and here on page 33 uh, look at the structure right um, observe that the business letter uh, it starts with your address the sender date then the name of the person you're sending to their address um, the salutation dear so-and-so and then three paragraphs okay what are those paragraphs what are those paragraphs containing well those paragraphs are depending on what kind of business letter you're writing right are you writing to find out something are you writing a sales business letter all that is discussed on page 38 right so this is very useful right because then you know what to add exactly right so the re read that carefully uh, especially if you know that in your job you're gonna write a lot of business letters if you're not gonna write business letters again maybe it's not so important but um, you know but maybe you know even if you're a consumer you might wanna your car got scratched in the parking lot right you might have to write a business letter right um, who knows but most likely you're gonna use emails so I think if you read the if you really think about the email chapter I think that would be good okay um, uh, okay for your homework for your homework you can pick actually not I'm not gonna say that you can pick anything I think I like you to do exercise 2.5 right here I think that's a, it's just an email about um, you're pretending that you're managing a um, employee cafeteria okay how should you do this basically open a word document and create an email okay with like two from just like use the structure of the email that is in this chapter okay just create a short email about whatever you're supposed to do that in exercise okay so that's basically it okay and if you have any questions always shoot me email but don't shoot me five emails just like think about the email what you want to say um, gather all the information and just send it to me and I would love to help you okay or we can meet on zoom even better okay thank you